Right, another video. Um, this one's um, on uh, camera lens mounts. If you hadn't seen my first video, I think I did it about a year ago, but you could subscribe, but uh, go through my archive and you'll find the uh, other video on lens mounts. I'm going to go through several here on how to identify them um, if you're out of a yard sale, flea market, or something like that, and you find some old lenses and you're wondering if they will work on a camera you might have at home or something. So. I'm going to go through several here. If you don't see the uh, particular one that you're looking for, it might be in my previous video, so make sure to check it out. All right, uh, we'll start off with uh, Pentax. Um, might not always say Pentax, but uh, there's various models. The Pentax K mount or PK mount is used on a lot of cameras, uh, old film cameras and stuff. Uh, this just happens to be a Pentax mount. Um, this is the uh, an old Sears camera. You see there it says Sears. So I've got two different uh, looking mounts here. Let me switch this to the manual so I don't... You can see that. It's just kind of standard. Just has your little... This is a bit of a tar lens, but it has your little uh, thing for your aperture. A lot of times it will say PK on the side. Uh, but you just... This is where you're, you switch your aperture there. You can see it's the, it's the uh, bayonet mount, so they're pretty much equal on each side here. So that's a good way to see them, but it will say K or PK a lot of times on the side, like that one did. Okay, so here's another one. It's, they're real similar. This is uh, still the Pentax uh, K or PK mount. But this is a newer one. This is actually a Pentax lens. But this came out of a, off an old 80s camera. But um, you can see it has little electronic pins. This is uh, years later when they came out uh, with the more advanced film cameras that had electronics and stuff in them. So uh, here's this old uh, Sears model. Notice it doesn't have any pins there. So you could fit both lenses on here. It doesn't matter. And both of these will fit on modern day DSLRs which is really cool so without an adapter so we got those that was the Pentax K or PK mount um, I want to say some of these older ones you might want to be careful on these uh, you might want to Google um, Rico pin because Rico uh, before they were part of Pentax or um, there was a a pin on some of these that will uh, could get caught in your focus mechanism on your modern day DSLR. So Google that. I have a how to re a video on a how to remove that pin. If you do look at your lens and you see that pin on there, that Rico pin, um, you can check that video out. It's in my archive as well. So subscribe. But uh, yeah, be aware of that. Don't try to put it on your DSLR until you're sure that pin is. Uh, not a Rico pen or just make sure it works but you could google it there's other guys that explain it too so okay so that was the Pentax PK mount now I, I might have shown this last time but this is a Minolta lens here um, the way to see these a lot of times they'll have a, a round aperture uh, trigger here but uh, the note the distinguishing thing about them is this little notch here out of that of that bayonet mount so you see that there and uh, there's I'm going to show you one that's real similar so you might get confused you see that this is Minolta mount MD mount um, here is a similar one and you'll say oh Konica Minolta they were together yeah but this is different mount look at check this out um, if you look at the mounting system here real similar it has a little notch out if you notice there, it's kind of in the middle of this, so they're different. So if, if you find a notch and it's in the middle of one of these uh, bayonet uh, things right there, the Minolta one would be kind of to the side, so be aware of that. Um, so that's that's the Konica is the one in the middle, and Minolta is one on the edge. Uh, I think I went over this one last time but yeah check out my other video this is the uh, m42 or screw mount which is a screw not bayonet mount I won't cover that one just check out the other video um, we got two here um, these are Nikon mounts so easy way of telling them there's a couple other lenses but um, 
they'll have this little thing on the side. You see that, and on the older cameras it would lock in. There would be a pin up here and would kind of lock it in. Uh, Nikon's a little different. When you put them in, you're going to go counterclockwise. Most of them you put, you go clockwise, but um, when you're putting in those on camera, it's not a Nikon camera, but you would go counterclockwise on them. So it's kind of weird if you're trying to put it on the a camera and it doesn't fit, you need to go counterclockwise on this. So, um, solid uh, little um, bayonet things around here, and you got the one trigger there. Um, I will say that it's it's hard to tell, but it's I think it's a little bit smaller as far as the bayonet around there than than typical other mounts. So that's Nikon, and it has uh, this. So there's another one. I can't remember which one it is, but there's another one that has one of these. But um, most of the time, it'll be a Nikon. So. And you might see, uh, like most of these lenses, uh, to give you some sort of uh, reference, it might say N-mount or Nikon F-mount is what these are, actually. Um, you might see AI and AIS are some other things you might see on the, on the lens that kind of help you out for Nikon. So that this, one's an, this was the older Nikon. And same thing with Pentax. These will fit on your modern day DSLRs kind of, but they're a little bit different. Um, make sure to Google, make sure it work, but they'll fit on there. Um, so this one's a newer one that has electronic pins and stuff like that. So if you see the pins and they're on the side, not like a, a Canon or, or this Pentax where they're on the flat of the flange there, they'll be here on the side and that gives you some sort of idea that it is a Nikon mount. So this one's actually a, a Sigma lens. So there you go. There's a few different lens mounts to help you kind of identify them. Um, check out my other videos. Subscribe. I've got tons of photography stuff. Uh, leave a comment below. Um, if there's a video you want to see or a lens mount you're kind of curious about, let me know. And if I got something in stock, I'll uh, try to get it on here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.